Hello, Gun Nation. Big Johnson coming at you. All right. I get asked quite a bit, like, hey, what's your EDC and stuff like that? Well, if you follow every Wednesday night on the Gun Nation chat, I do it every Wednesday night, 7 o'clock p.m. We talk about guns, gears, answer questions, whatever anybody wants to talk about. That's what we talk about. Sometimes political, too. But... I ask, hey, do you want to see my 2022 EDC? Because I haven't done one this year. And everybody was like, yeah, sure, put it out. So anyway, here it is. So we're going to go over some stuff that I carry. Now, this is stuff that I truly carry on my person. You've seen videos, EDC videos, where sh people have all the shit laid out and the kitchen sink. And they say, I carry it on my person, which I don't believe some of it, but whatever. So this is what I truly carry on my person. Then we'll get into what's in the truck, go bag. We're not going to show all that. I'll just tell you what I carry outside of the body. So here we go. All right, this is the, the uh, Staccato C2 Duo. So I have been carrying this for about five months straight, five or six months. Um, periodically, I will carry like a P10C or something like that on the weekend. But it's pretty much dominantly been this gun. I really am enjoying the 2011s. You know, I'm a 1911 guy from way back if you're new on the channel. Um, and really enjoying the Staccatos quite a bit. Of course, I am a 100% Texan, and these are made 100% in Texas. So I definitely enjoy supporting a Texas company. So here's the way I have this set up now, and I'll show you why. All right, I do have the Atlas trigger in it, just because I do not like a round or a curved trigger. This gives me a little more reach. That's why I run these. And of course, this has been safety checked and unloaded. You'll see the ammo here, out, down there. Um, and it does have the Surefire X300 on it. Now, this is the B model with the screw. I do also have the A model. And this is the, you know, FDE, scraped up like hell. Um, it is what it is. This coating has not been holding up well on the Surefire X300. But uh, I really like it. You know, 16 rounds plus one. And, of course, you can get uh, the MBX mag, the Defender, that will hold 18 plus one if you choose to. Um, so there you go. And on the dot, it is the Hollow Sun 508T Green. Now, I have ran the SRO on here, Trijicon SRO, and I really like the SRO. However, I had to move it over to another gun. And I had this dot, so I went ahead and put it on there. So far, I'm liking it. It is a smaller window size, of course, than the SRO, but I'm, I'm getting used to it. So there's the gun. Really enjoy it. Still deciding on the stippling. You know, I do like super aggressive grips, but I, if I do get stippled, I don't want to take any of the girth down because I actually like the thickness of it. So I would want some kind of stippling, but without shaving everything down. And I want to be kind of assured by someone that that can be done but you know i've got xxl hands get a really good purchase you know right down there so when i change mags you know it really doesn't i mean i can still catch the meat fat here or the hand fat whatever you want to call it the meat but it's not as bad as some guns um this has a you know nice undercut and stuff for me so i really do like this grip for my large hands so there's the gun we'll go over some other goodies you know, I've got this minimalistic wallet, nothing special. Um, I've got a video on this particular wallet. I've got personal stuff inside, so I won't show it, but it's very minimal. Uh, it holds like, gosh, 12 credit cards, uh, your ID, all that good stuff. So there's that. It's just something off Amazon. It wasn't expensive, and I have a detailed video on this, so you can check it out. So there's that. So carry a wallet every day. Carry my phone, which I happen to be using right now. It's the iPhone 12 Max Plus. So there's that. And then on the gun, I forgot to say, sometimes I actually carry the TLR7A. So I switch between these two lights, and we'll go over the holsters here in a minute because I have a holster for the TLR7A, and then I have holsters for the Surefire X300. So we'll get over that in a minute. So I carry, you know, the gun, a light like that, carry a wallet, usually carry a watch of some sort. Uh, I don't really do the expensive ones. I own them, but you know, I scratch the hell out of these. So this is just uh, inexpensive, but I do like really big watches because uh, of my hand size and these seem to fit well. So this is like a three pound watch, but sometimes I'll wear the rubber bands. Of course, wedding ring, 
Uh, there's that. And then knife. So I carry a pocket knife. Does it have to be the most expensive pocket knife? No. Uh, this is actually a Rook, R-U-I-K-E. Um, it's actually a really nice knife. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. Uh, they're like 35 bucks. Now they are made in China, uh, which I try to buy all American. It actually might be Japan. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not the biggest knife guru in the world. I've got some expensive knives, um, but I don't want to lose them, so I'll just use these. These cut boxes, stuff. I, I tend to use a knife every day just to cut stuff. So there's that. I do also have, you know, some straight blades and I've got, uh, gosh, what are they called? The little shanks and stuff like that. The dagger little things. Uh, I don't tend to wear those on my person very much. I'll do occasionally. I'm just being honest with you. These are the everyday carry. So anyway, I do also carry a flashlight on my person. Even though I have a light on the gun, I'm not going to be waving the gun at anybody to light them up. I'm going to be using this. So I use usually these types. This is a Streamlight Wedge. Great light. So if you want a bigger light, I would use this. If I want a smaller light, I usually use the small Surefires. I've got the rechargeable ones. I've got the non-rechargeable ones. I've got a ton of Streamlights. Really enjoyed the Streamlights. Had great luck with them. Hell, I've even washed, I don't think it was this one, it might have been my lighter FDE one, I've even washed them in the washing machine on accident because I had them clipped in my jeans, and the damn thing worked. <laughs> it went through the washer and the dryer and still worked. So, some of these things get the hell beat out of them, but that's that. The ammo, and of course, you know, carry a loaded mag. I always keep one in the chamber, a lot of people don't. I carry the HST-124. I'm a big HST fan, had really good luck with it. Some people might ask why you carry 124. 115 seems pretty fast. 147 seems, you know, pretty slow. So I prefer the 124 non plus P. Don't really need a plus P. Uh, I don't feel. Overpressuring the gun's not a big deal, but I don't. Uh, I'm just a non plus P guy. Seems to work really well for me. So. That's my preference. There are other uh, 124 grains. Gold dots are great. You know, there's other ammo that's really great. I'm just an HST guy. So, all right. Do I carry an extra mag on me? Yes, I do. Do I carry it every day? No, I don't. What do I carry it in? I've got a couple of these holsters. These are these little uh, Kydex mag holders. They are. This one is not specifically made for a mag this big. However, just being honest with you, I'll take it and I'll jam it in there and it'll hold it just fine. I prefer the horizontals over the vertical carry. So I will clip this on my belt and here we go. And when I pull it out, bullets up, you know, that kind of thing. You can flip this around. I just don't think it's going to hold very well if you do that. But so this would be on the left hand side of my body. Have the gun here. I can reach down with my left hand, pull it out the front, boom, ready to go. So I kind of keep this, I guess if, you know, it could be right on the front of my hip or at the three o'clock, it's just going to point out. So however you want to do it, that's what I use this for. If I'm not using this one, I'm using this one. This one actually straps to your belt with a, uh, I forget what you call these, pull dots. Um, I'm looking through the camera, so excuse me if I'm... Okay, here we go. Has a little bit of a snap there. And this will hold also a 20-rounder. This is a 16-rounder. So there's that. Do I carry a spare mag every single day? No, I do not. Do I have one in the truck every single day? Right in my door panel. You know, if something were to happen, road raging or whatever. Yes, I have one right there ready to grab. So there's that. Also, these base plates, uh, these are from Vulcan Machine Works. They're gold to match my gold trigger. Uh, they sell these separately, and that is Vulcan Machine Works, if you're curious. They come with the thin black base plates. They're actually good. Uh, they're aluminum that comes with it. This one has a little more thickness. They come off super easy, just like the factory ones, but I just wanted gold because of the gold trigger. So there's that. All right, now as far as holsters, again, if I carry the Surefire on here, I am carrying the Tenacore. So 
And this is the Tinnacor Malus Soul, M-A-L-U-S Soul. And you'll notice I have two of these. Why the hell do I have two of these? One is a four inch and one is a five inch. This will carry the Staccato C2 and the P, non-threaded. This will carry the Staccato P, the Comp uh, P that I have, and it does stick out just a little bit. I've shown it in another video. It's 0.2 outside, so the gun is like five, five inches or 5.2 inches, so it does stick the Comp out just a little bit on my P. Um, does have a built-in wedge. This isn't a perfect system. Also, you'll notice they had one and a half clips on here. I do not like one and a half clips. However, these are discrete carry clips and it does come with the one and a half discrete carry clips. However, I switch, switched over to the 175 and I'm only needing one clip and it actually does, you can kind of see, it will go here if you have the regular clip because theirs are offset clips. So a regular discrete carry concepts clip will go in here you're just gonna use this or this. So I could come over here and raise this height up a little bit, raise it down, but it tends to work really, really well. Also, uh, they do offer different wedges, or excuse me, different claws. They have the short, the medium, and the tall. This is the tall claw. So I do run that on there. With this footprint, I can carry the X300 and a C2. Now, the good thing about the five inch is I can carry the C2, I can carry a P, or I can carry a five inch 2011 in here and 1911s. So that is the good thing about this holster. So let me sh show you how it goes in. Again, the gun is unloaded and everything, but pops in there. This is the five inch. Oops, sorry about that. Let me, I've got to rack this and put your safety on because it has a safety holder. So that's the way I carry it. So that's five inches appendix. And a lot of people might say, oh, God, that's big. However, this is not a wide package. I have other wider guns, you know, or wider holsters. But this tends to work very well for me. The good thing, here's your C2, and I'm not muzzling myself. But there's your light, and there's your barrel. That's the 5-inch. Here's your 4-inch with the C2. I'm not muzzling myself. That's what it looks like with that. I am going to have a threaded barrel for this with a comp, so this should stick out a little bit. However, it will fit in the 5 inch. So which do I carry dominantly? I've been carrying the 5 inch forever just to get used to it because of the longer length. A lot of people think if it's a longer holster, that's a bad thing. However, it's not. Usually, the shorter the holster, if it's a short holster, it can cause tilting. With the longer holster, You've got all this going down your body, and this is in your pelvic region. So usually the longer part here in your pelvic area will actually push into your pelvis or your, you know, you know what I'm talking about, your swimsuit area. If it's a shorter holster, it can cause tilt. So the longer it gives you leverage, the shorter holster, it can cause it to tilt out away from your body. So that's something to think about. That's why a lot of holster makers, such as Harry's Holsters, which is a great company, highly recommend them. I've got a discount code if you're interested. It uh, just doesn't make 2011 holsters yet. But even on like some of the shields and stuff like that that he makes, he makes them just a little bit longer because of exactly what I'm talking about. And I've carried for appendix forever. So <laughs> got a, quite a bit of experience. I'm not the professional, but I've got experience that works for me. Okay, on this particular holster here, this is a QVO, and this is for my C2 or P. I actually got it for the P, and it's got the fabric over it. It's got the discrete carry clip on it, and this one is for my TLR7A. So when I have the 7A on that gun, this is the holster that I use. So, and it's got the wedge, got a little foam, or excuse me, the claw here, a metal claw or aluminum, and I've got the little foam wedge on there. Uh, if I could say anything about the Tenacore once I've done this and changed some things. For the SRO, I did have to blend a little bit. You'll see on this one, my 4-inch, I did have to blend it right here, block it off a little bit for the SRO. Once I did that, it was fine. However, I hated their 1.5 clips, and they don't offer a 175. So once I change this, it's actually much, much better for me. Uh, this... 
uh, wedge is not perfect. Honestly, I'm gonna put a little bit of foam right here, cause, or right in here, cause these little corners can catch you. So I'm gonna put a little bit of foam right here and a little bit of foam right here. So that would, that would pretty much make it really good to go. And you're gonna get some holsters sometimes that you have to adjust and kind of make your own. You know, just tweak them. Um, doesn't mean that this bat holster, it's just body types are differing. So adjust accordingly, so to say. But that is my true EDC. Now in the truck, I carry tourniquets. I've got one right in the door panel, right under my hand grab when I, it's just literally in a tray on my door, not on the bottom, just sitting right there. So I've got that at my ready. I've got go bags in there with tourniquets and, you know, gauze. And I'm not a medical person. I'm not claiming that. But I do have that type of stuff in the truck. So, you know, there you go. But do I carry all that crap on my person? No. This is the stuff I carry. Exactly what I showed. Uh, but there you go. But I appreciate y'all's watching. If, if you want to let me know, hey, what you think about this? What do you think about that? You know, your opinions. You know, I would love to hear them. Questions, what do you carry? Do you disagree with any of this stuff? Do you prefer any of this stuff over something else? I'd love to hear it. So please leave your comments below. If you're interested in the lock stand or any lock grips, I will leave a lock code below. Um, with my discount code, you can save 10% off. If you're interested, I'll leave that below in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your comments, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And remember, an unarmed, unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we all got to carry on.